Right, guys? So someone in the comment section suggested for me to sign Pierre Duomo, if that's how you pronounce his name, the Belgian from Royal Antwerp. He's 17 years old, but I do not know how much to offer him, and I, I had to go with the loan option because he was uh, he didn't want to relocate. He didn't want to leave this team, so we tried to get him on a loan with the option to buy. We tried to give him a two-year deal. They said no, then a one-year deal. They said no, so we had to settle with a short-term deal. We split his wage 20 to 80. We're basically paying nothing for for him and the transfer sum they wanted was 40,000 I was just happy as hell to accept that anyways we move on to the FA Cup game against Colchester and we quick sim it with the reserves and we lose 4-1 no I don't really care too much I mean we weren't gonna advance far in the FA Cup we see that his loan was declined he did not want to join us so we move on to the Papa John's trophy game against Colchester again but this time we beat them 2-1 with a couple of the main boys on the field and we advance in the Papa John's Trophy. Moving on, we host Salford City home. They're currently 17th in the table and fighting the relegation. But we open the game up under 20 minutes. Burns scoring a sitter. And let's just say Burns is on fire lately. He has been scoring. He's been racking up the goals lately. He's the leading goal scorer in League 2 with, I think, 17 or 18 goals. He's doing absolutely fantastic for himself. Anyways, we move on. Gallimore with it. He finds Hackney. Plays into Burns. Burns carries it. He's carrying it still. He beats the Centre back with pace. Gets around him. Hits it with his weak foot. Off the post. And then Park tries to finish, but he hits it right into the defender. It's a bit of a scramble, and they just cleared away. Easy for them. But anyways, Hackney carrying the start of the second half. Gallimore has a great chance, but he hits it right at the goalkeeper. Not what we wanted. We make a change. We take Pew off for Richards because Pew was absolutely gassed. We ended up giving them a PK being stupid, but it doesn't matter. Collins coming up big, making a great save to keep this one 1-0 one no and keeping us in the lead. Anyways, in the last 10 minutes, Salford City was pounding on us. They had a great opportunity here to tie it up. Hunter gets slipped in. He should have sweated it across, but O'Malley with the greatest tackle of all time. I was so scared they caught a PK, but it was a fantastic challenge from O'Malley. But they get a corner, but it doesn't matter. Collins deals with it in his hands, and that basically wraps up the game against Salford City. Easy 1-0 win. I shouldn't say easy. It was a bit of a difficult one, I'm not going to lie, but to open up the episode. But now we're away to Mansfield Town they're second in the table they're absolutely they were so difficult to play against but an early chance for Burns and he misses the biggest sitter the biggest open goal I've ever seen I was absolutely fuming in this point in time like it was so frustrating he hits the post he had the whole goal to score on but he just can't capitalize anyways Gallimore has a great chance great save from the keeper to keep this one leveled early on in the game. We should have gone 2-0 up, especially 1-0 up with Burns' chance. Man, me and Burns is just having a love-hate relationship lately. One minute I hate him, and the next minute I love him because he just wins the game for us. We have a corner. We play short into Burns. Play it into Sinclair. Sinclair into Burns. Burns tries to finesse it in a great save from the goalkeeper. Fantastic save from the goalkeeper. Anyways, we go short on the corner again. Park with it. Tries to rifle it for our post, but a great block from... Anyways, a couple minutes later, after we turn the ball over, Mansfield Town is on the counterattack, and look how look how many players they get for. This is a great counterattack from them. Gets slipped in behind. We make up that ground. He cuts it back. Look at this. It's a 3-2-V-1. Slips in the far side runner, and what a finish. What a finish at the near post. Watch on this replay. Look how tight the near post is. Collins should do better here. I'm, I was absolutely fuming he didn't save this. But it was an absolute rocket. Look at this. Look how tight it was. Collins has to do better. He has to save that. I don't care what anyone says. He has to do better there. Anyways, we're on the counterattack. Great ball. Great touch from Sinclair. He's trying to beat the outside back. Beats him with pace. I should have sweated it here, but he... I go selfish with Sinclair, and we hit it right at the keeper, and it's an easy save to end the half. Anyways, Burns with it, cuts it back, tries to finesse it far post, but another great save from the goalkeeper to keep Mansfield Town in this game. 
Hackney gets a chance. He shoots it. Another great save from the goalkeeper. I was absolutely fuming. This keeper was making insane saves. I was getting frustrated as fuck. It was just a frustrating game. Anyways, a ball into the box, but when O'Malley takes a touch, it hits his hand, and we concede a PK. I was absolutely pissed off. This game was just not going my way, but it doesn't matter. Mansfield Town misses the PK, even though Collins dives the wrong way. We absolutely dodged a bullet there and got saved to be saved in the game, but... We make a mistake and Mansfield Town's in. I don't know what the AI was doing there, cutting it back. But it really doesn't matter because we can't make a tackle in Collins. Collins. I, I Guys, I just think Collins lost his starting spot after this game. How did he not save that? That was right to him. He has to do better. But anyways, Hackney with it. Shoots it right at the keeper. I mean, what? Another great chance for us. And Sinclair takes a terrible touch, and the keeper just deals with it. The game's over. We lose 2-0 on the road against Mansfield Town. They did. They they were the better team, but we had more chances than them, and we should have done better. But we play late in Orient, and early in the game, they get a, they get a corner. They get a free kick, and they finish like it was nothing. We get a chance a couple minutes later. Great save from the keeper. Shrimpton should have finished, but Burns. Oh, my gosh. Burns I'm telling you boys he misses absolutely the easiest shots he misses but he scores in times where it's difficult and he's under pressure but it doesn't matter start of the second half Gallimore aka the KDB of League 2 on his weak foot smashes it far post top bins to level it up and then minutes later the substitute park comes in and he wins the game for the boys in white he does it he wins it for the the rb boys i yanked him out to start 11 because i just wasn't satisfied with his with his play and he comes on and he proves me wrong in this game by winning the game for us 2-1 against a relegation battle Leighton Orient who again gave us a tough run for our money last game of the episode is against Bradford City I think they're mid-table but a great chance for Gallimore gotta finish there again we're wasting so many chances lately but Gallimore again slips in Hackney and Hackney so unlucky hitting the post, but again, we have to do better. But minutes later, we press them, and Burns is in one-on-one. -on -one. An absolute gift, and what a goal. He finishes it off like he's supposed to do, like the number nine I know him as, and he gets the job done under pressure with so much time. But minutes later, we get a corner. Burns again on it, tries to shoot it far post. But it nicks of Brentford defender's hand or Bradford City's defender's hand. And we get a PK and who's up? Burns gets the job done. Sam Burns is becoming one of the best League 2 strikers I've probably ever played with. But it doesn't matter. Minutes later, poor defending from Thompson. Can't get the job done. We try and clear it. Pew loses the ball and it just falls right to the 9. Easy finish. 2-1 for them. Moments later, Park drives in, plays a great ball across the box into Sinclair, who's just waiting on the far post on top of the six to smash it home to make it 3-1. And then moments later, to close the game out, Park finds Gallimore, a.k.a. the KDB of League 2. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. He smashes it top bins to end the episode off 4-1. We beat Bradford City and look we finished episode 7th in the table the boys have done well But anyways, that's gonna be the end of the episode if you guys enjoyed the video Make sure to leave a like and subscribe with the notification bell on I'm on the road to 100 subs Anyways, it's been your boy Elac and I'm out peace